Hi, and welcome to another Vakon 100 Flow instructional video. In this short film, we'll be showing you how to hook your drive up to your PC for remote programming. With our great online software program, Vakon Live, you can ensure all parameters and monitor values are as they should be, monitor the drive's activities, and find out more about your Vakon product's capabilities. First things first. Let's show you how you connect your AC drive to a PC. It can be linked up either with a USB cable or using Ethernet connection. Both are done pretty much the same way, and Vacon 100 Flow has ports for both. While both work in a similar manner, the Ethernet connection will be quicker. Since it's quite easy to run your AC drive through the keypad that comes with the drive, you might be wondering why you would bother to connect through your computer. Vacon Live has a couple of features which make it significantly more convenient. For starters, it acts as a great depository for parameters and uploads, ensuring that your settings remain secure regardless of any problems the drive or application may encounter. To save parameter and monitoring values to your PC, take the following steps. We will assume you have already downloaded Vacon Live, which can easily be found on the Vacon website. Once you've done this, remove the keypad from its slot on the drive and insert the USB slash RS485 cable into the port. In Vacon Live, select Online Mode and device scanning will start automatically. Once the computer has finished scanning, select a drive from the list. You can select as many drives as you have USB ports linked. For now, let's assume you have one drive connected in which case, there will only be one option on the list. Once the drive has been selected, Vacon Live will start to transfer the database to the PC. This may take some time the first time around, although once monitor values and parameters have been transferred onto the database, they will not need to be uploaded again. This will help speed up the data upload process the next time you connect a drive to Vacon Live. Once all the parameters and values have been uploaded, you are ready to start using Vacon Live. All the parameters and attributes are shown clearly in the Vacon Live parameter browser. A number of features here make it easier to manage the various values. For instance, you can edit parameters simply by pressing Enter on your keyboard, which takes you into edit mode. From here, set a new value and press Enter again to confirm. Alternatively, you can simply type in the name or ID number into the search bar at the top of the screen. Just like when using the keypad, help texts are provided for each parameter and monitoring value, giving valuable explanations for the things you might be unclear with. For more in-depth guidance, you can access help by pressing F1. This will open up PC Tool Help which will give information on each window, explaining what you can do and what icons mean. You can convert this content into a PDF for printing or future reference. Help also allows you to make sure you have always got the latest version of Vacon Live. Simply click on Check for Updates to see whether a new version is available. Through Vacon Live, you can view monitoring trends for set periods of time. It's easy to do. Simply open the monitoring window, go to Settings, and set a suitable sampling interval and time format. It can either run in real time, known as drive time, or start from zero when the monitoring begins. To monitor a number of separate values at any given time, simply click Add in the bottom left corner of the screen and select the parameter or value which you wish to monitor from the list displayed. You can also send signals from parameter window to monitoring window, either by clicking with the right button on your mouse and selecting a pre-existing monitoring window from the list, or by creating a new window. You can show as many signals as you like, and they can be added to any monitoring window open. While monitoring the drive, Vacon Live is constantly on the lookout for faults, so that if and when one occurs, 
it is immediately brought to the user's attention. If a fault occurs while the drive is running, the drive will stop automatically. The fault will immediately appear in the status bar and can be identified by the fault code number, while the fault ID number will help give more information about status of the fault. The fault diagnostics window will open automatically. The fault values will be saved to the drive and the data can be served for further use as a diagnostics fault data file. All faults are saved in fault history. Another handy tool you get with Vacon Live is the Service Info feature. To access Service Info, go to Drive in the toolbar and select Service Information from the drop down list. A window will then open. Click OK to start loading a service information report. You can add user comments and press OK or, alternatively, simply click No Comment. Once all the data has been gathered, a pop-up dialog will appear where you can name the service information file and either locate on disk or send via email according to your needs. The service report will be saved to your hard drive as a file which you can then open in the location you desire. The service info page gathers and collates all necessary information from the drive and PC and gives fault logs which you can send to a Vacon service center for further analysis when necessary. This saves time and money, since it means that all the data can be collected from the drive site and service site so that a Vacon technician will only have to visit your site if strictly necessary. You can save almost all data compiled from Vacon Live to your hard drive for later use, such as if you need it while offline. For further information on PC programming, you can check out a more detailed walkthrough of the entire Vacon 100 setup on the Vacon.com website, where you can also find application manuals for all the Vacon 100 products. Thanks for listening.